Our first presenter is Aaron Wright. Uh, Aaron owns the Wright Decision Film Stage and Management Company. Um, and this uh, company writes, directs, and produces film and stage productions as well as manage independent artists of various genres. Aaron? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I was born in 1985 and I grew up a 90s baby. And when I watched television every single Friday, which was TGIF, I watched images of extreme family values. And one of the embedded situations in these family values was the core audience that it attracted. And it attracted teenagers simply because these teenagers were able to view other teenagers, much like themselves, dealing with various issues that they actually dealt with. And when I began to think about my business and I began to take a look at the scope of what was going on in America and within the realm of teenagers, I realized that these core family values and these images of teens and the issue that these teens go through were no longer being exhibited here in 2015. And so this is where my business came. The Right Decision Production Company Film Stage and Artist Management is an arts and management company that's dedicated mainly to serving youth um, through the production of teen-centered uh, pr programs, events, shows, etc. My vision is to advocate and serve mainly as a voice for the teen population. The vision is to create brand, ground, excuse me, groundbreaking uh, programming, but much as like what we see in the 1990s, in all avenues of media and entertainment that accurately reflects the issues that many of our teenagers are dealing with today. Such goals as providing realistic and viable solutions to their problems, supporting the youth in their personal development, and also advocating just for their social, academic, behavioral uh, development, advancement, and well-being. So when I started, um, now going on nine years, I started with my own sense of spirituality. So I created a stage play with my church, um, and it was called, you'll never understand my phrase, Three years, four years after that particular point, I got into a writer's block because I couldn't quite figure out what was my purpose and why should I actually be writing outside of spirituality. I taught seventh and eighth grade um, in Philadelphia for six years. In that time frame, I started noticing, again, that my students had nothing that accurately depicted something in which they um, go through every day. Instead, when they went home, they watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta. That was completely full of adults. They watched The Bad Girl Club. They were all full of adults. And so when they got home, they didn't see anything that looked like them. And so I got a few of my students and we created the first teen stage play that we toured from as far up as Syracuse down to being invited to the DC Black Theater Festival. It was called A Teenage Love. And the area that I actually want to speak about today is the uh, play Young Wild and Out of Control, which we only were able to tour for about maybe three months because we were uh, granted the opportunity to turn that particular play into a full length hour and 52 minute movie. Um, then I'll come to where how to keep a man. That's clearly not exactly the most teen thing, so I'll explain what I think. <laughs> Here is an example um, in our trailer of the actual movie. characters for the most part in this particular film are African American or Latino. Um, and one of the things about it, I started this simply uh, because that was the faces that I saw every day when I was uh, uh, teaching in Philadelphia, so I kept with that particular trend, thinking that was the lens in which I wanted to actually promote my business and do. However, I come to find out that the issues that teens are dealing with now that I substitute and I've taken this full time, and I've been able to get in classrooms that are full of uh, multiple different races, I recognize that the issues that our teens are facing are absolutely 100% universal. Um, and so I've been able to expand um, to different races, different uh, genders, uh, and the storylines have changed simply as a result of it. Some of the topics that are addressed in the film, 
are what you see. These are general basic um, and probably the scratch of the surface of what our teenagers are actually dealing with. And some of them are rather alarming in the uh, statistics once we were able to get in and dwell into those particular uh, topics. Here's a, a sample flyer, just to give an idea of what was done. We had a show, this was the actual play back at Howard High School last year. Um, it was pretty well attended um, and you know, once from this point, that's where we actually became and started the actual movie over the course of that summer. Um, here's my plan. Um, we have a red carpet premiere that's coming April the 2nd. From that particular point, I would love to do some showings and then also get field trips of middle and high school students to be able to come and see the actual uh, film. We've also been invited to our first film festival. Uh, we actually didn't even finish the film before we actually got accepted into the film festival already. And we just got accepted into another one yesterday, um, the Atlanta Film Festival, which it takes place in June. So we're already off to a good start, and I think it's such a topic that I think is definitely prevalent with so many things going on in our news with regards to our teenagers. Um, expanding my brand, aside from film and the stage, this is uh, my first artist that I signed back in August. Um, a 17 year old, she's 17 now, a uh, country singer, again, being able to expand to teenagers of all different genres, uh, considering their story is universal. This is another one I won't show too much of. This is her music video that we created, I written, I wrote, and directed it um, two weeks ago, actually. Alright, that song is by the records of anybody who may know that actual song. All right, um, and so one thing I also realized once I started getting and dwelling into this a little bit more is that our teenagers, not only do they need help, but their parents do as well. And many of the issues that make them young, wild, and out of control are the broken family units. And so I created a new stage play. Many people wanted me to start writing an adult play, writing an adult play. And so I created this one. It's being showcased at Dickinson High School later on this month. The purpose of How to Keep a Man, even though it's completely marketable, women love How to Keep a Man. Every woman in here wants to know how do I keep that same man that I actually had. And so I created this. And the purpose was to restore the family unit by trying to rebuild and reshape the way we see relationships so that our teenagers don't have to become young, wild, and out of control. If we can get these males back into the household and reshape the way it, it looks when they wake up in the morning and see a mother and a father in the household together, I believe that we can uh, do better and get back to those 90 shows where family values was the core of what we saw on television. And so, if you're interested in supporting the right decision, um, I'm seeking two things um, among many producers for the actual film to help support the financing and promoting of the actual film to film festivals through different shows throughout the summer and spring and also seeking supporters to advocate for and kind of just promote the upcoming projects that I may have in film stage for management. Um, by way of questions, I'm actually just an open book. So whatever it is um, that you may have, uh, I don't mind addressing and answering those questions. Thank you.